This video will show you how to install the high altitude main jet for using your champion generator or inverter at high altitudes. To help alleviate issues with running your unit at high altitude, it's recommended to replace the standard main jet with a high altitude jet. Read your operator's manual to find the part number for your specific model and carburetor, and contact champion customer service to order the high altitude jet. Make sure your engine is completely cool before working on your unit. Always turn the engine switch and fuel valve into the off positions. The main jet replacement process is simpler on some units, while some units will require the carburetor to be fully removed to access the jet. Watch all the steps before proceeding with your unit. Step 1. Locate the fuel drain bolt on the bottom of your carburetor. This may look slightly different depending on your unit. Remove the drain bolt to drain the fuel from your carburetor. Be prepared to clean up any spilled fuel and replace the drain bolt when finished. Step 2. All carburetors look different, but no matter what unit you have, you need to remove the float bowl from your carburetor to access the main jet. Your unit may have a solenoid mounted on the bottom of the carburetor. Note the orientation of the solenoid and drain bolt for when you reassemble your carburetor. Remove the solenoid using the appropriate hardware for your unit. There will be a bolt at the base of the carburetor that is holding on the float bowl. Remove it with the appropriate socket or wrench, and remove the bolt. Step 3. The main jet is located inside the carburetor. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove it, and make sure the main nozzle stays in the carburetor. If it falls out, replace it in the correct orientation. Then take the high altitude jet and insert it into the carburetor and fully hand tighten with the flathead screwdriver. Step 4. Make sure any O-rings are seated properly on the carburetor and bolt. Replace the float bowl in the correct orientation and tighten the bolt. Do not over tighten any nuts, bolts, or screws as this may damage the threads. Then replace the solenoid in the correct orientation if your unit is equipped with one. You may be able to complete all of these steps while keeping your carburetor in place on the engine. However, the size of your unit or tools may require you to remove the carburetor fully to access the float bowl. If this is the case, locate the carburetor replacement video for your unit on our YouTube page or at help.championpowerequipment.com and follow the steps to remove the carburetor, then follow the steps in this video. Always follow the safety guidelines in your operator's manual, and for more help guides, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.